in our preparation journey we do encounter this one let me say annoying friend that always studies just one day before the test put in half the effort as rest of the kid still ends up scoring the top rank the kind of person that always make you feel like an average student it's really quite discouraging when you put in your heart and sweat into something and you don't even get half of the goodness of your effort before your loss gets irreparable today in this video i'll decode the secret of that genius friend and you will see actually he's not a genius only his studying method is genius let me tell you by the end of this video you'll be knowing the techniques using which you'll be scoring more than him by putting in less amount of time which you're presently putting in those who are new here my name is arvind kalia sir aur bacche pyar se bhai bulate hain because that's the way i see you all chalo let's start before we start let me mention right now you need to come out of that fanatic mindset that single scientific method will increase your productivity that is never going to happen in this video i'll reveal four scientific techniques and two supporting activities which when integrated into your daily routine will boost your productivity up to 5x so we will be talking about most crucial 5 minute of the day optimizing your study space ultradian sprints active learning active recall protege effect and in the end i'll give you one bonus tip as well high productivity expedition starts with this simple yet most effective step you must have realized that you try to start your day with full motivation but throughout the day you carry this virtual stress in the back of your head regarding what all the things i have to do in this day and you end up barely achieving 1/10th of what you could have achieved after you wake up in the morning and get set for the day first 5 minutes are the most crucial 5 minutes of the day you got to list down all the things you need to cover in that day along with their dedicated time slots this way the part of your brain which was earlier consumed for the full day with zero output and was creating headache will now be relaxed and ready to be used for the right purpose it's like freeing up the ram of your brain now that you have already saved a lot of time of the day it's time for its optimal utilization Your study space can have massive impact on your focus and productivity. It's like just by sitting at a special place your brain will start running faster. According to Pavlov's classical conditioning theory, our brain associates every location with a certain activity by learning our habits. So get your one super corner table and stick to that table for the complete preparation period. You will realize after some time just by sitting on that table your brain starts running faster. So you got to break your whole day work into smaller chunks and cover one chunk in one ultradian sprint. It's like 90 minutes of high focus study sprint followed by 15 to 20 minutes of rest. These time cycles align perfectly with your body's natural rhythm and hence boost your productivity. Actually, in chronobiology, ultradian rhythms are the natural human body cycles, which includes pulse, heart rate, thermoregulation, digestion, etc. Certainly in the beginning maintaining high focus for 90 minute at a stretch might be difficult. So in the beginning you need to follow a technique to maintain that focus till your brain gets used to maintaining this focus. Which brings me to the next point. Think about this. Now in 90 minutes of ultradian sprint your brain starts tare zami par after just 30 minutes. It is one of the prime reason why you get only 4 hours of studies in 10 hours of sitting. In order to combat this use the technique called active learning. Instead of passive reading, you rather engage with your study material. Highlight important points, jot down questions and summarize concept in a separate textbook. You will realize that your brain will remain engaged and the dreams will come only while sleeping after that. Active learning will save you a lot of time in the initial learning process, but what about retaining that knowledge for a long time? After all you don't want to do more in less amount of time today only that's where the technique called active recall comes into picture When you study something for the first time it goes into your short term memory you need to transfer it to your long term memory one round of active recall is equivalent to three rounds of simple revision so after your classes when you start doing your homework do not open your notes straight away Rather take your homework notebook and try to note down each and everything that you recall from your class. Let me tell you you will not be able to remember anything in the beginning. So do it this way. In the beginning try to recall what was the first topic that teacher taught in the class or try to think of some important incidents that happened in that class and try to recall the topics around it. 
try to recall as much as possible. This way you engage your brain into active recalling. And once you combine an activity with active recall, it starts shifting into your long-term memory. Imagine spending 10 hours in learning a chapter followed by three rounds of revision each of three hours. In total, you devoted 19 hours on one chapter. What if you can reduce that nine hours of revision into just three hours? You will be saving six hours and multiply it with the number of chapters and you will realize how much time you are going to save. According to a study done in 2007, Student who taught other students scored higher than the students who learn only for themselves. In order to teach someone, you try to understand the concept more. This phenomena is called depth of processing. And this process is called protege effect. Discussing and collaborating with the study group will fill the holes in your knowledge. Also, the friends in your study group which are intelligent than you gives you advantage for sure. The concept which your friend understood by devoting maybe three hours will be able to explain it to you in just 10 minutes. Your brain constantly communicates with your body through hormones. These microscopic guys can influence how your brain and body works and can increase or decrease your energy level and productivity. Like dopamine can make you work hard or hardly work. Adequate level of serotonin, also called feel-good hormone, ensures you sleep well, you have high self-esteem, and most importantly, you memorize everything easily. So remember, if you have pretty consistent hormones day to day, it is a lot easier to attain a productive, consistent schedule. Practically, now you know everything that is required for high productivity. Use it for a week and you will be already seeing a drastic improvement. Remember, it's an implementation where the toppers go ahead of an average student. If you are the one who face resistance in starting the work itself, you may watch this video, it will help you get rid of any sort of resistance in starting this process of studying.